Hey, what's up everybody? We're having some fun with it. Domino's Pizza mocks Rick Wilson for politicizing Kaylee McEnany's 2012 compliment. Guess that's 2020 for you. This is Fox. You know how it is. You know it's a conservative site. I figure most of you are familiar with the story, especially the conservatives, more liberal types. <laughs> Probably wanted to avoid this one. Rick Wilson, apparently he's some piece of garbage, never Trumper that says whatever he needs to say in order to make a buck. <laughs> Sounds like John Bolton. So this happened a few days ago. We'll just kind of read it real quick. I just wanted to give my thoughts. I know it's been an interesting week, so I didn't have a chance to get to it, but I had to talk about it. And Kaylee McEnany, whew, whew, if you could see the pits on this shirt, you could see, you'd see they'd be dripping. Be like, I just came out of the swimming pool. Ooh, she's bad. Woo! Yeah, she's a woman. That's how a woman's supposed to look like right there. Now, interestingly enough, she's married to a baseball player. Guy used to play for the Mets, Orioles, the Rays signed him, I guess. Sean Gilmartin, what a lucky guy. <laughs> He's not doing too much on the baseball field, but off the field. Domino's Pizza mocked cable news regular Rick Wilson on Tuesday after the anti-Trump Republican attacked the chain for accepting a compliment from White House Press Secretary Kaylee McEnany back in 2012. It all started on Monday night when someone resurfaced a 2012 exchange between McEnany and Domino's Pizza. She wrote that the chain is better than any New York City pizza, to which the verified account of Domino's responded, that's one heck of a compliment. Thanks for the love. 2012, huh? Hmm. Kaylee McEnany, there we see the tweet and the exchange with Domino's. Wilson, an anti-Trump pundit, noticed the message on his feed and told Domino's Pizza that accepting the compliment killed their brand. Eight years later, who knew? But Wilson apparently didn't realize the message was eight years old. That's because he's an idiot. And sent long before McEnany worked in politics and three years before Donald Trump even announced his candidacy for president. Trump derangement syndrome, that's what they call it, everybody. Beware. I just wanted to say this, though. For you conservatives, the next time a Democrat gets in office, and I'll harp on this a lot, maybe it's November, maybe it's 2024, the next time a Democrat gets in office, conservatives, please don't be like this guy, Rick the Dick Wilson. Don't get this TDS for whoever the president is, just please. All of this stuff we've seen the last three years from these doofuses on the left, don't let this happen to you. I mean, you see these people in the comments. They are so pathetic. They are so brainwashed. Don't let that happen to you. No matter what is happening, learn from the lessons you've seen the last three, three and a half years. Do not be like them. Please don't. Somebody like me just hanging out in the middle, I, I, I can barely tolerate one half being stupid. I don't, <laughs> I don't want both halves. Please. Begging you. Wilson was widely mocked for the gaffe, including by the pizza chain itself. Welp. It's unfortunate that thanking a customer for a compliment back in 2012 would be viewed as political. Guess that's 2020 for you, Domino's responded. There you see the tweet. It looks like McEnany weighed in again, shouted out Domino's again. Oh, shouted out Pizza Hut. <laughs> The article goes on to say, earlier this year, Wilson took a nasty shot at First Lady Melania Trump, jokingly suggesting that she should hashtag be infected with the coronavirus. The frequent CNN and MSNBC guest also made news in January for a viral CNN appearance with Don Lemon, where they mocked Trump supporters as illiterate, credulous rubes. <laughs> oh, it's funny. I talked about John Bolton. Same kind of thing. I always tell my missus this. I say, for any individual right now, in the Trump administration, whether you're a friend of his or not, within the administration, that if some point you get fired, write a book, try to dish all this BS dirt, Omarosa, remember that? Did Stormy Daniels write a book? It's easy money. It's like comedians who tell Trump jokes. Low-hanging fruit. 
It's so easy to be anti-Trump and get paid to do it because they want it so bad. They want to hate him so bad. I love it. So that being said, this guy, Dick Wilson, I mean, I can't say I'm going to blame him for cashing in off these idiots at CNN and MSNBC. As I've said before, they sacrifice their ethos for a lot less money than I'm sure he's getting. So Bolton, you can go down the list. If somebody sticks a pile of cash in your face, of course you're going to parrot whatever it is you think their audience wants to hear. All right, that's the article, everybody. Domino's is all right. I'm not really a fan of Pizza Hut. I am more of a fan of the, you know the ones, where you go in now, you line up, they make the stuff right in front of you, throw like 50 million toppings on it, and they're like $10, $11 for a pizza. I'm more of a fan of those places. So occasionally I'll get Domino's, but there's also this place here. If you're local in SoCal in Orange County, it's in Irvine. It's called North Italia. I'd recommend it. It's pretty steep. It's a lot better than Domino's, but it's four or five times the cost for the size. So occasionally I like to pretend like I'm bougie and rich like Rick Wilson and splurge on a nice pizza from North Italia. But when I do uh, get down in the lower range of the cost of pizza, I prefer Domino's over Pizza Hut. Haven't had Pizza Hut in a while. Domino's, not too bad. Kaylee, a lot better. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care, and I hope everybody's doing well out there. All the best.